Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great today. This design is a very cute, a beautiful design. And I'm going to give you an introduction to tell you how the idea came and how can that idea or that tip can help you to, you know, create designs. So I always tell you techniques. So as much more techniques you can have, then there's more possibilities to create designs. Um, so another thing is visual, right? You kind of like capture as many images that you can and around you there's many different ways. One is Google and another one that it may be fun for you too, it will be go out every time you go out and walk on, you know, the places like um, even the Dollar Tree, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, Ross, those places have kind of uh, an area for the season. So if, for example, it's all Valentine's, you will see a lot of Valentine's uh, decor. So check it out. If you think, well, I'm going to forget and I love this, take a picture with your cell phone. And then you can keep it for yourself when it's a moment that you say, hmm, I can see I can make it out of balloons. And you're trying to do that. So this happened um, last week. I went to this store Ross. So I was, you know, watching in the section that is what is coming because they are going ready for, but uh, what is Easter, St. Patrick's. So look at that picture. And I was, my first intention that really, you know, if I had to say, <laughs> oh, be honest, it was those cute as love. And I was like, I think how adorable is like this love with bunny ears. And I'm like, yeah, I love it. I want to do that out of balloons. I can see it. But then, you know, it wasn't at that moment here, you know, right before I started filming, I was like, wow, I can't. Hmm. I, it's like ideas come, ideas go. And those ideas was, you know, already making the design that I'm going to show you. So it's okay. Be flexible. Don't be a stubborn thinking, this is what I want to do and this is it. Because may not work. So just be flexible and let's see what happens. And it came this cute idea from a little bunny. So if you check the bunny on the picture, I was like, huh, that bunny would be also cute to make other balloons. And that was my inspiration for this design. Now techniques, you see, I saw a long time when Grandma B was here visiting, uh, we were thinking, okay, let's jump. What should we make? Mm. And Grandma B told me, have you seen Juan Gonzalez videos? Yeah, he just made this cool, um, tutorial for Santa sitting, you know, so you can see Santa Claus sitting and that technique to make Santa kind of like sitting and show his boots, it was kind of the idea. I think it was Santa or it was a polar bear. I think it was a polar bear. So we were working on that technique. We, we make, I think the polar bear, we make Santa. So I think now I'm not sure. So, but the idea it was from Juan Gonzalez technique to make those type of legs. And so from that, then also I combine other techniques and I'm going to show you because this is a really beautiful design. I'm going to show you the first attempt by, you know, being inspired of the bunny. Um, I think it was this one. So look at that. Of course, candy cups. Yes. Bracelets. You have here the place that it can be, you know, bracelets, headbands. But look at this. Okay. The whole idea um, of the legs. This is what kind of inspired me on um, Juan Gonzalez. But there is also other things, you know, like um, the idea of the one, uh, the green is going to be a 160 or 260. The flower petals can also have the extra one coming out and that becomes a flower. So that was cool. I was liking that idea and using the technique of the legs. So now everything is going to be, you know, happening in the tutorial. So don't worry. Just want to explain you things, you know, them. What is this? The three pinch twist. Three pinch twist for the paws plus one extra pinch twist. So it's like four pinch twists, three pinch twists each leg. I mean, it's a lot of pinch twists so that it's gonna, one thing takes you longer, but it's an option, why not? The bunny head, that's another way to make, really cute, look at that. And it comes with a front head, it's like ba -ba if you make your bunny white, you can make it any color, light blue and then just the teeth. One thing you can color it with white Sharpie to pretend those little bubbles with any color you make, you know, if it's blue or pink, then just color it with Sharpie. 
those little bubbles or you can just make that those little bubbles this and this into just white and the rest can be any color for the bunny but white i think is going to be the way to go okay to make this design kind of faster um then i'm going to show you the second thing because from here it's like oh it's a cute bunny but what about if i play using and then let me see which one was the next one what about if, uh, if i play using now a round balloon look at this it's now a chubby and i love the chubby bunnies that told me anything <laughs> like it looks so cute uh the good thing also so uh this one you know was without the tail this one you can add the tail and this is the whole uh design thing that it had a lot of potential you see and you're gonna avoid details if you are in a hurry so this time it's like okay i'm gonna put the tail i'm gonna make it show belly now what is like the, sh the feet are not that elaborated it's just a loop and a pinch twist the arms very simple too a loop and a pinch twist i'm not making the three pinch twists it's just a loop and a pinch twist you know the head is pretty much the same the teeth the flower now it's disconnected from you know the petals i just uh, i mean yep i take it out and all these left over you know this green connects from here and then goes and this bubble is just because I think it looks kind of like the idea, give you the idea that it's a touch. Okay, so pretty much the same idea is just now it is chubby and I love that. So it's like, okay, now let's keep moving one more step and this is probably gonna be much more simple. Now, even look at the, the flower, it has first a pinch twist and it's more elaborated than just as a bubble then what about just using the green for that same green and it's gonna look something like this now you decide it's gonna look like a funny uh face but i don't know if it's the bubbles but you decide what do you prefer and uh, from all this we can always combine and it all depends how busy we are you know you can avoid but all of this i think at the end looks pretty looks cute and uh, yes uh you know you kind of like play with that be patient you can make the eyeballs bigger the eyeballs smaller uh so what i'm gonna show you kind of like a mixing of these and let's see what happened but you can see that the potential is uh really cool i like the belly and the belly really i make this part now using a quick link so if you don't have quick link it's okay you can just use a round balloon and pretend it's a quick link totally um so don't uh just give up thinking oh this design is not gonna work because i don't have the balloons you uh just have to use your creativity and see what you have if you don't have a quick link if you don't have a round balloon so just make it with the 260 up and down you see the 260 is the body too it's just skinny and it's actually looking cute and adorable what to do uh, I'm gonna make the idea of using a quick link only because I have it but the name you will see will be the same if you have a 260 you just have to split it in half and that's how it's this done okay so don't forget like comment subscribe tag me on social media if you make this design this idea um you know you feel you think you know like oh yes influence what is if you feel you know this design has something you know to do um with what you're doing tag me i would love to share it at the end because that can bring ideas to people watching the videos uh what else your comments are also very important play with any color you want i'm just went with yellow and spring colors you know pretty much because that's what represents the easter right spring the, the welcome to spring um so let's start and i'm gonna try to make my best and i hope you understand this video don't forget your collaboration is very well appreciated and on the description of all my videos you will find their ideas how to collaborate with this channel because thanks to your collaboration really i can make this channel much better totally motivates me and it helps it helps a lot to get more materials more balloons and yeah so that's kind of the the idea uh now let's make it um you will need depending you know again but balloons 260 even 160 can work so let's just start with things that i already know uh it's going to be happening for sure a 160 yellow uh for the flower but if you want any color it's totally fine now 
I'm using yellow, uh, this is like see-through, so any yellow, especially if it's not see-through, will be easier to twist, but if it's see-through, it's gonna think looking cute too. So you're gonna inflate it, have six finger tail, and you're gonna make loops. I make like eight loops because it's a 160, uh, so it looks cool, you know, with so many loops, but you don't have to make uh, that many with five or uh, a six will be good enough. So these loops are approximately four finger, you know, pedal. So just keep going, squish, twist, squish and twist, pass it around, and that's what I'm doing. And now when I feel okay, I don't wanna force it anymore, you just leave it there. I think this time I made seven, totally fine. It's not a biggie. Now I cut the excess puppet and all this, you can use it to pass it around so it kind of secure each pedal and doesn't lose air, you know? Just why not? You pass it around. Okay, now you have a flower, perfect. Now you kind of, kind of repeat, but with a green, cause that's where it represents the grass. It can be dark green, lime green, so what, whatever you have. I have the green, lime green from Decomex, but it can be any brand, and this is a 160. So if you have 260s, totally fine, but 160 will be better, I think. So try to play with your 160s. Inflated, uh, like again, eight finger tail, squish, and start making pedals to represent a bracelet part or the base. So it's like approximately four finger tail, four finger pedal, and just keep going. As many, how many? Like before, I've been making like seven, you know, pedals, but uh, really with five or six will be also great. So don't feel like, oh man. So this time, for example, I have six pedals and it's totally fine. With the rest, squish the arm, cut, and leave some some tail, some some of this balloon. Uh, under inflated is totally fine, but leave balloon there like this. Okay, whatever is left. You can make it with five pedals and then you will have this a little bit longer, totally fine, no problem. Keep it, then pull and pass this around. You don't need to tie it, just pass it around and it's gonna lock things there in a moment with the next balloon that is coming. So you have that six flower pedal, totally fine. And then you're going to make what um it's going to be the belly the belly and i'm using quick links because i do have quick links and if you already been watching my videos you know i love quick links <laughs> i love playing with quick links makes you know that shape and it's not just gonna be a skinny bunny it's gonna be a chubby bunny and i love that so you're gonna have a quick link and the color of the bunny you want it to be so you're gonna inflate it something like this and then loose air something that is, is fit in the palm of your hand a little bit bigger sounds great okay when you have this you're gonna tie close to the nozzle this technique when i use this technique for a lot of other designs one is the baby yoda that i have it on my youtube channel check it out it's a very good way to make baby yoda and it's fast what is the baby yoda i know that's not his real name but you know what i mean the baby yoda <laughs> So this is kind of the way you tie it close to the nozzle, squish the air up, split it in half. One side is gonna be you know chubbier and it's totally fine, but it's kind of the same size is split in half because then you twist and then you're gonna grab this and tie it the other side. So twist, 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 so tie it very well, and then when you tie it. You are going to already have this, this way. And then you're going to attach it to the six petal flower green. Cool, pass this around. You can lock things now with passing that around. That's totally, you don't leave it there. You have something like this. Look at this cute belly, this cool effect. I love it. So think about, you know, from here, even you can just attach ears. It can be this for a panda bear, just black ears. Always you make something, think about all the ideas can be possible, okay? Look at your design upside down, use your creativity, have fun, enjoy this. Because this is what I think, you know, it's the, the most important thing to enjoy it. 
No, you can just wait, Cecilia, but what you don't just have this in another way, just don't use it, just run and that's it. You have a, a connection here, a connection down. Because I like the idea also, the arms are gonna be more connected this way, passing through there. That's how I feel. I feel like I show more the belly and then from here, the arms. So there's like defined, you know, what is the belly and then what is the back. Um, but it's up to you, so play. You know, I love that you can see other ways when I'm making the tutorial because that's what it used to happen with me. I used to watch tutorials on YouTube and I always see it the other ways. And that is fun and that is cool because that is going to help you to make your own, you know, way, which is cool. It's no wrong. So that's, keep that in mind and do it. <laughs> now you have this, great. Uh, you're gonna grab a balloon 260 and you're gonna inflate it approximately, um, what is this, uh, six finger tail. Okay, so let's just start making the legs because we already make the whole belly, so let's make the legs. Now, how to do that? You're gonna make it simple because I think it's gonna be easier, simple, that you can always have it more elaborated. Just three pinch twists and then one extra pinch twist to make those more elaborated feet, totally fine. But I'm gonna make it fast and easy and simple. Or should I go with elaborated because you will already kind of figure it out the simple. I'm gonna go with elaborated because it seems like maybe you don't get it what I'm saying. So let's just make two finger bubble, pinch twist, another two finger bubble, pinch twist, and another two finger bubble, pinch twist. So you have that three pinch twist, but because it's gonna be the feet, you're gonna make another two or three finger bubble, pinch twist so that is gonna keep this design looking this way look at that it's just so cute and adorable now when you have that you're going to now make a bubble another bubble so you have bubble 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 you see one and two and then you're gonna repeat three two finger bubble pinch twist another two finger bubble pinch twist so it's like pretty much three about three pinch twists and then the fourth one is going to be slightly bigger so it's going to be like almost like three finger bubble pinch twist okay so you're going to end up with something like this look okay so when you have this it's kind of like crazy and hard to see because it's so wide but now you're going to grab your belly the boss chubby round belly you're going to put it that way you want it to the side of bad little bubbles and then you squish and pass this around, okay? So now just pass it around and twist it and cut. Now with this, because it's still gonna be enough for the arms, you can use it for the tail. And you can just make, you know, a bubble there like this and that can represent the tail. And pretty much that is what it's gonna, I'm gonna do only because I had to play with what I have with me. So keep that bubble, that's gonna be the tail. And with the rest, make sure you tie it and you lock things, okay? Also, it's an important thing, there is no that a specific recipe. You can always start from wherever you want and end up with wherever you want. It's totally, totally cool. You know, what is working for you, that's great. Look at this, chunky little paws. It's the bunny feet. It's a, uh, take your time there because I know it's white, it's kind of like hard to see, but now, you can grab this and go to the back and attach the cute little um, tail. Now you don't want this to pull too much, so stretch it there and just slightly, whatever is here, a little part, just pass it around, just a little bit so you don't want that to be too tight because you want this to just stay there. That is gonna represent the little pom pom, the tail. Back, I mean side, front, back. Now, when you see this, and this is the cool part, look at, pay attention while you're looking. This can be also the nose for a character. So think about always those things that they could be. They could be something else. So think about that, okay? Um, but this is kind of like the design so far. Now, let's grab a second balloon to 60 white, okay? And the idea with a second balloon to 60 white, we're gonna make the head, and that's the moment that you tied it, leaving a tip, inflated approximately a finger tail, but don't forget to tie uh, this leaving a tip, okay? Very important. What else? You're gonna start making the, I think I'm gonna start making the ears. Yep, 
So the ears, how long? Well, I squeeze off and squeeze off like eight finger long. That's a good size, and not an eight finger long down. Okay, twist, make sure you still having your long tip, long piece. And then you're gonna measure like four finger bubble. And this is the fun part because this is the moment you're creating these chubby thick cheeks and you know the nose part where it's gonna be attached. So you're gonna make one finger bubble, pinch twist, another one finger bubble, pinch twist, and now one is smaller than one finger bubble and another one is smaller than one finger bubble. And these two twisted together. Those are gonna represent teeth. So grab it and twist it together. And I'm gonna show you how things are looking in a moment, but you're gonna end up with two little bubbles, two pinch twists, and then go back with a four finger bubble, twist. Now you can make here a pinch twist, like a two finger bubble, pinch twist, and then go with a bubble, it's slightly longer than the ones you just made here. If this four, this is probably gonna be five. It's slightly longer, okay? And then twist and you know twist passes around and now it's time to accommodate things so you can start looking at this and understanding okay i got it so you have the front teeth the ears goes up this tip goes down the pinch twist it's gonna help to support the ears so you can open it you can always bend it like this the ears that's what i'm doing and you have something like this and then pull this tip the long tip i told you and also squeeze and pull and refine figure out to send it to the center where the neck you want it to be of the what is this a uh, cute little bunny okay so you have this twist in the middle squishing the air from both sides twist pass this muscle around and tie it that's what i'm doing now when you have this, make sure you accommodate the bubbles the way you, it's gonna be more stable and you end up with something like this. It's hard to see because it's white, I know, I know. You can always accommodate the pinch twist the way you prefer for this character to be looking more like a bunny. Now, it's like, Cecile, it's kind of hard to me to see this. Well, I'm gonna touch the eyeballs and the, and the nose. So for that, eyeballs you will need black unless you want to make it any other color blue orange totally fine red but i'm just using a balloon scrap and there's many different ways very simple you just make one small bubble and another one small bubble and twist it together and you have two eyeballs okay by the way i like to make this like one finger bubble pinch twist and it may take a little longer, but I don't know why, um, for me, I feel like it's more secure. It's a little bit of the air, a little bit, and then make another one finger bubble, and cut the excess and tie this as a pinch twist too. Um, the thing is, look, don't worry if one bubble is smaller than the other one. It can give character to your um, design, and that's totally cool, that's totally fine. So. You have this, um, you can make it again, most simple way, just two bubbles, twist it together. But you have something like um, this, that you wanna pass one high ball to the other side, and you're gonna end up with something like this. You can accommodate it, and you know, find how you want this. Now, you are now thinking here, wait, Cecilia, but we need now the nose. What color? Um, pink, it's totally fine. Also, it can be black, totally fine. I'm gonna use pink, but again, you can use black too. It's just a very little one finger bubble. And don't make it too rectangular, just a vanish you can make, circleish, you know, you can make, tie it there. So then uh, just cut leaving some teeth because especially I do have more that I can save it for other bunnies. You can always use the end of your balloon. That's gonna be easier, just a little bubble there and a little tip to pass it around. But if you want to save balloons, save it for another bunny. And here you have a little bubble with a tip. Now let's attach it. With practice, you will see this design doesn't have to be that taking that long. But I'm taking my time explaining you also reasons how this design came. I got that. Now the pinch twist here is helping sometimes to make that ears a little bit more, you know, like coming to the front, bend thin things. Uh, so. Think about that idea, okay? You can play with that and accommodate it. Uh, 
in a moment. So you have something like this and you can cut this. Now, if you have this, you can always grab this, twist it in half, pass it to the six finger pedals and this can be part of the body. But I already have my chubby body. So what I'm gonna do here is just cut this, or I mean, half, loose the air, bang, <laughs> and then pass this to here, pass it. So you just pull, because the force on balloons is gonna help this design to be more stable. You just help, look at that. You can make it with a neck if you want, I just pass it around a couple of times, and then, because I do still have all this link, why not? I can send it all the way to the bottom. And doing that is just a way to kind of like lock everything that was passing around that green balloon. So no other way. So that is cool. Now accommodate your bubbles. These can always, you know, like look more, you know, accommodated. You can always squish, twist, you know, find your better angle always is a good idea but this is adorable i love also the shape it's like chubby the happy top so cute so adorable and trust me it's kind of hard because it's white but when you make it you're gonna see it like ah, ah! <laughs> you're gonna love it <laughs> you're gonna say this is just adorable this is adorable this is a cute design and i can't wait to see how you make it please don't forget tag me because it's such an adorable design this is like make me happy make me feel proud because one of the things about making balloons is when you are able to use techniques that you learn. And this is a way I remember, you know, my moments here with Grandma V and we were watching Juan Gonzalez tutorial that it was on Christmas for the polar bear, I think. So it's like really cool for this part. But then you just keep using all the techniques that you are discovering, you know, over the years. And then you can do other things, you know, mix it. So that's the fun part. Now, here we need arms and now already i use two balloons to 60 uh and a white quick link so you decide do you want to use a third balloon for the arm because it will need the arms so you can do that and that is going to be also left over if you want if you don't want to use the belly with a quick link you can use it with that the balloon a third balloon to 60 okay so it's up to you. In my case, I want to show you the best way for me and you decide. So I'm going to just use this part, this balloon 260, the last balloon 260 for what is going to be arms. So you want to take your time and make it elaborated with a trip pinch twist. Go ahead. If it's not, it's just the most simple hand, a loop and one pinch twist. I'm making the trip pinch twist only because I have enough balloon and I don't need it for anything else. So, and I want to show you how pretty and cute and elaborated this can be. So you can just three pinch twist this time. You don't need to make a fourth, only if you want, but it's not necessary. And then you squish and kind of like measure soft and squishable is fine, it's better, I think. Four finger bubble or even less if you want, but the idea is you twist. And the thing is also you're gonna pass this through in between these bubbles. Okay, just pass it. And see, that way you're not connected from the head, you know, from the middle in between. You could, but I'm afraid it can be a little bit separating the neck or the, the head with the belly, but you can do it that way too. It's totally fine. I'm just doing it this way. I pull, look how it's using my hand. And then when I get in closer, I squish and it gives me the chance to play with, you know, keep the arms lower, you know, and it looks cute. So like it here, you can put it a little bit up. You can put it, leave it like that, totally fine, even, if you want looking down, but I think it's looking cute like this. Say hi. <laughs> I know, I know, okay. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, okay, now what else? A squish, twist, 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 and again measure like four finger long, you know, that's the same idea if you can from the arms, the same size for me, no bubble, and then three pinch twist, but this time maybe four pinch twist will be better or because this is gonna pass the flower, you know? Uh, so one is gonna be kind of like four, okay? Four pinch twist and the rest cut. You don't need it anymore. You can make a better tail if you want, but it's totally fine with me. Again, if you use the most simple way to make the hands, um, it's totally gonna take less balloons. So now from here, connect things. 
you want it um you have this you have this what else from here we need to grab our flower that is somewhere out there you can connect it all the way right there but if you want it in green just go ahead at the end of this and make a little bubble but you can always grab any balloon scrap and i think orange will be great grab it and pass it in the center it's a balloon scrap a little bubble and then you have an, another color which is cool having another color makes this i think better so you know more colors colorful spring time so now grab this tip you see pass it around or tie it with the orange whatever is gonna work better for you and squeeze it i think it's gonna be easier this way and end up here i'm okay with that then uh now make sure you don't look here grab this and attach it you know measure okay you want it right here measure where you want it and twist and pass use your bubbles your pinch twist to kind of keep things more you know stable with the balloon and always you know look at your design look at your uh balloon think the perfect angle for picture time especially and then show it to the camera so that's what i'm gonna look at my design the front and then i'm gonna and i'm gonna look at a digital card and terrible and i'm gonna show you and this is the design i hope you like it enjoy take your time have fun make it more elaborated always is a way to make more elaborated you can make whiskers pop some air attach some real whiskers just with a line make the whiskers uh, totally totally fine in my case really i want to play simple uh because i try to avoid sharpie but if you want to make sharpie you can make also some um eyebrows to make this uh e cuter you know some eyebrows um you can also make here some freckles and also some whiskers mm, i mean if you quit sharpie it's gonna be easier something like whatever i mean take your time i think it will be easier it will be better sometimes i mess it up every time i use my sharpie but why not how you learn is just <laughs> give it a try um it's also that sharpie done that really you don't need to have you don't need to do it so um this is the design of the day i love it i'm super happy and super proud in case you run end up with this longer you can always attach it in one of the feet that way it's kind of give it more you know like wave into your design i don't know it's just an idea so the options are oof lots because you can just play with different techniques and uh, pretty much it's kind of the same but at the, at the same time it's not so think about that and have fun i hope you like it don't forget your comments are very well appreciate it but more especially it's your donation so i have a venmo paper account so everything is very well appreciated i hope you can collaborate have a wonderful day and see you on my next video ciao ciao